This is my trash. And this is yours. And this is Mr. Varma's, Khan's, Mahato's, Ayer's, Singh's, and everyone else's living in our city. Then there is the waste generated by markets, malls, hospitals, industries, and offices. All this waste gets collected. Some of it gets sorted, but in the end what's left gets thrown outside the city in a landfill. And what happens after that? Well, nothing much, except that today's waste goes on top of yesterday's, and tomorrow's waste will go on top of today's, and so on, until it all piles up so high that the landfill cannot be used anymore. And then we dig a new pit and find a new landfill. So does that waste just sit there? I mean, by common sense, it must rot. And so it does, rotting slowly and very severely. If you live close to a landfill, you know that stench. Rotting fruit peels meets discarded meat, meets a heap of all other kinds of waste, all dissolving bit by bit by bit. And the foul air that rises largely contains methane and carbon dioxide, usually more of methane than carbon dioxide. Both are greenhouse gases that cause global warming. Though over a 100-year time period, methane can be 25 times as potent as carbon dioxide. That is, 25 times worse for our planet's temperature. And even if we start managing our waste more carefully starting today, there is years of waste to be dealt with, piling up in all our backyards. In India alone, we have to deal with the waste of nearly 5,100 cities. Most of our bigger towns and cities today have similar waste disposal sites. And with the country's growth, this waste is growing at a faster rate every day. Let's take into account only the waste generated by our cities and towns. Want to know how much that is? About 30,000 truckloads of municipal solid waste every day. And every ton of this waste emits 300 cubic meters of landfill gases, a large chunk of which is, of course, methane. No wonder India is already one of the largest emitters of methane from landfills. But what if this crisis could be turned into an opportunity? What if we could capture this gas and use it as a fuel? Well, scientists around the world have been thinking, and in India too, the Energy and Resources Institute, along with the Jamia Millia Islamia University, have been working on a solution called an LFG, or Landfill Gas Cleaning and Flaring Technology. While the researchers were working on this solution, the Ministry of Environment and Forests in India offered them an opportunity to apply their solution to one of the landfills fills in Delhi and see if it works. The landfill was brimming with over 17 years of waste. The model was put to work. A series of wells were dug deep into the landfill and with the help of a blower or vacuum system, methane and other harmful gases were extracted out of the landfill. All the while, a central operating unit would meter the amount of these gases being released at the site. So how will a real LFG work? Well, it will capture this gas being released to either burn it or filter it and use it to generate electricity, cook food or even run a car. Generating a single megawatt of LFG energy is equal to planting over 10,000 acres of forest removing the emissions of nearly 7,300 vehicles or stopping the use of almost 89,000 barrels of oil every year. So with every bit of methane that we use, we will not just be cutting down on our greenhouse gas emissions, but also turning around a never-ending problem into a renewable source of energy. And oh, not to forget, once the methane is extracted from these landfills, the organic waste shrinks and so does the size of the entire landfill making it much easier to cap and close it. So, are we ready to dig in?